So, Junior, what do you want to do today? Yeah, dude. Well, guess what, guys? I invented this cool game last night. It's really fun. Oh, cool. How do you play? Yeah. Well, guys, you take this baseball and you throw it back and forth. I call it catch. Oh, dude, that's genius. Where did you come up with that? I don't know. I just thought of it. Oh, man. Junior, Junior you didn't invent catch. Catch has been around for thousands of years. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't see your name on it. What? Junior, I didn't say I invented catch. Cody, just shut up and let's play catch. Back up. <sighs> All right, fine. Cody, if you don't catch this, you're gay. Uh, whoops, I, well, I, I didn't catch it. Uh, Cody, you didn't, you, you didn't even try. Well, I guess I'm just better at catching balls in my mouth and not in my hand. Uh, just get the ball, Cody. All right. <laughs> Ew, Cody, what was that? Dude. I pooted. Wait, you pooted? Yeah, Junior. Gross. I, I pooted in my panties. Oh, 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 God, it smells like butt. Right? Uh, well, you know what they say, Junior. Your farts smell like what you eat. <laughs> Ew, Joseph, can you can you open that window? It smells so bad in here. Oh, yeah. don't worry, dude. I'm about to. It was disgusting. <laughs> dude, it stinks. Uh, oh God. Thanks, Joseph. Oh, no problem, dude. Cody, your farts smell really bad. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Usually they don't even make a noise. They're silent, or they just go. Whoosh. Well, Cody, hurry up and throw it. All right. Uh, do you even know how to throw, Cody? Junior, I'm a much better pitcher than I am a catcher. <laughs> Well, hurry up and throw it, Cody. Look, I'm wide open. Throw it right at me. All right, Junior. Here comes the old Cody knuckleball. <laughs> and then I'll throw the ball. <laughs> Shut up, Cody, and just throw it. All right, here it comes. <laughs> what? Uh, I goofed. But damn right, Cody, you goof. You shattered my window. Yeah. yeah, with a foam baseball. I mean, that's pretty impressive if you think about it. I got a cannon over here. I should go pro. Cody, I'm going to get grounded. Well, well, no, not if you don't tell your dad. Yeah, dude, you just don't have to tell your dad. Junior! <laughs> Random window inspection! Window inspection? Oh, yeah. I don't know, he's never done that before. <laughs> Tyler, check these windows. Uh, Dad, uh, what are you doing? Oh, it's time for a random window inspection, duh. Gotta make sure these windows are good. Uh, well, uh, I already checked these windows and, and they're fine. Are you sure? Y yeah, yeah, I checked them and they're in tip top shape. Mm. Okay. Whew, whew, that was a close one. <sighs> wow, Junior, that was a close call. Yeah, dude. Yeah, good thing my dad believed me. Well, let's get the baseball. Well, Cody should go get the baseball. He's the one who threw it. Well, I'm not going out there. It's dark. So? Well, so I'm afraid of the dark. And besides, somebody might kidnap me and then take me back to their house and chain me up and do stuff to me. You know, maybe I should get that baseball. Yeah, go get it, Cody. You're the one who threw it. But, but no, Junior, it's still dark, and there might be grasshoppers out there. Grasshoppers? Yeah, you know, they're so scary, and they, they taste bad. Not like caterpillars. You go get the baseball. Me? I'm not the one who threw it. You're the one who's bad at throwing. Well, <gasps> maybe if you had catched it. Dude, let's all go out there and get the stupid baseball. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just all go get it. All right. Come on, guys. All right, guys, do you see my ball? Uh, no, dude. No, Junior, it's too dark. Well, great, Cody, you lost my favorite ball. I'm sorry, okay? Well, go sniffing for it. What, sniffing? What's that gonna do? Well, you know how police have search dogs and they sniff and find stuff? Well, I'm not a dog, Junior. Well, then what are you? Wh what kind of question is that? Well, look, we're turtles, so mm -hmm. what are you? Well, I, I, I don't know, I guess I'm a turtle like you guys. Well, where's your shell? Well, I, 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 I don't know. I, I'm a freak. Yeah. Ooh, cash. What, cash? What? Whoa, that, that's got to be like a zillion dollars. Oh, yeah. Well, no, Junior, it's $30,000. Well, where'd you get that number from, you big dork? Yeah. Well, because it's three stacks of $10,000, Junior. What, does that math add up, $30,000? Uh, I don't know. It's good enough for me. Well, look at all this cash. We got to take it. Oh, yeah. Junior, pick it up, pick it up. Junior, we don't know where it came from. I don't from. care. I'm taking it. Whoa, guys, $30,000. What am I going to do with it? Nothing, Junior, because we don't know where it came from. From. I know where it came from. Where? Santa Claus. <sighs> Junior, what makes you think Santa Claus gave you all this money? Because obviously he was flying over my house in his sleigh and accidentally dropped $30,000. Whoops. Just dropped $30,000? Well, maybe he meant to give it to me because he saw that you lost my favorite ball that he gave me for Christmas a few years ago. Whoa, how generous of him. He reimburses people for their lost Christmas presents. Uh, what, was that ball made of gold or something? Uh, yeah, that's why it shattered the window when you threw it. Junior, this doesn't even make sense. Why would Santa Claus be flying around in March anyway? Because every March, Santa Claus flies around and counts houses so he can know what houses to deliver to on Christmas. Uh, okay, but what if they build more houses in April or May or June or July? Wouldn't it make more sense for him to do that at the beginning of December? Well, he, he does it every month to make sure his sleigh can keep flying or something. 
Junior, how, how do you know he didn't give the money to me? Because it's not in your front yard, it was my front yard, so obviously he wanted me to have the money. But I'm the one that threw the ball out the window and made us all go outside. Wait, 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 wait. I'm the one that made us go outside. You guys wanted to stay inside. We wouldn't have found this money if we went to went outside. Well, 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 it was in my front yard, so he wanted me to have it. Well, guys, this doesn't even make sense. I don't believe in Santa Claus. I'm Jewish. Wait, you're Jewish, so you're already rich. You don't need this money. Yeah, you already have money because you're Jewish, Cody. So look, but, you, you're out of this argument. But, yeah. No. All right, Joseph, why do you want the money? Well, I, I don't have a mom and I'm homeless, so I deserve this money. Okay, you get one stack, Joseph. I get two stacks. But guys, okay. guys, we can't keep this money. We have to give it to the police department. What? Well, why do I have to give it to them? They didn't do anything. Junior, when you find a lot of money, you're supposed to give it to the police department so they can hold it for 72 hours while they try to figure out who it belongs to. Well, how are they going to figure out who it belongs to? B by asking? Well, they're just gonna go ask random people, hey, did you lose $30,000? Of course I did. I, I lost, it was mine. What, Cody, that's stupid. Yeah. They're not gonna ask random people if they lost $30,000. Anybody could shake their head. Yeah, everyone's gonna say that it was theirs. The whole town's gonna say they lost $30,000. That's stupid. They shouldn't ask. It's, it's our money, Cody. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. So we're gonna keep this money, and I'm gonna keep most of it. Uh, what, what? No, why don't we just split it three ways? We each get $10,000. We each get $10,000. Does that math add up, Joseph? I don't know. Uh, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. Mm. It's fair. We I get a stack each. Uh, I don't know. Cody, you're, you're trying to pull something. Huh? Yeah. Okay, fine. I, I'll, I'll trust you this one time. We each get $10,000. Okay. Uh, what are you going to do with your $10,000, Cody? I don't know, dude. Come on, kid. We rich AF. Uh, Joseph, what are you going to do with your money? Oh, dude, I'm going to buy a new mom. <laughs> what am I going to do with $10,000? Hmm. Hey, dude. Hey, Joseph. Hey, Junior. Whoa, Cody, why do you look like that? Oh, I got LASIK. But I thought you liked Velcro on your shoes. N no, Junior, not laces. LASIK. Like eye surgery. You got eye surgery? Is that what you spent your money on? Yeah, I have perfect vision now. I can see everything. Even the dimples on Ken's ass. Before, I just kind of had to feel around like Braille. But now I can actually see them. I even bought him some crotchless and assless chaps with the rest of my money. Look. Whoa, well, Joseph, what'd you spend your money on? Dude, you won't believe this. I was walking home and then out of nowhere, somebody ran up and robbed me. Somebody robbed you? Yeah. Did you see who did it? No, it was dark and they had a ski mask on. Junior, what is this ski mask doing in your room? Uh, uh, well, that was from the last time I went skiing. Duh, shit, pee pee. We live in Florida, Junior. Well, well, well that, that sucks you got robbed, Joseph. That, that, really, that really sucks. So, Junior, what did you buy with your money? Yeah. Well, guys, you won't believe this, but I bought a star. W wow, a star? A yeah. star? Yeah, a star. It only cost me 20 grand. No way. <laughs> Wait, how did you get 20 grand? Uh... Uh, well, I won a skiing competition. That, that's why I had that ski mask. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but I bought a star, guys, an actual star. I own a star in the sky. Well, how did you buy a star? Well, I was walking home from Joseph's house. I mean, I, I was walking outside, and I looked up, and I saw the stars, and I said, you know what? I want to own a star. So then this guy with a beard walks up to me, and he asked me for some money, and I said, I really want to buy a star, and he said he sells stars. So I gave, no him, I gave him the 20 grand, and he let me have a star, and I, I, I named it. And what'd you name it? I named the star Reptar. It's fucking dope. Reptar, nigga. Reptar, nigga. Yeah, we have Reptar. Nigga, Reptar. No, oh my god, it's Reptile. That's the sickest name ever. Right, right. Reptar is a star named Reptar, named after me, and I own it. So you own a star. Yep, I, I can show it to you right now in the sky. Where? But really? Yeah, I can show it to you. I, I know exactly where it's at. Show me. Yeah, come on, look. All right, guys, are you ready to see the star that I bought for twenty thousand dollars? Yeah, dude. Okay. All right, it's up there. Where? All I see is clouds. Uh, well, it's kind of overcast. Uh, you have to look really hard. And, oh, oh, there it is! What, J Junior, that's a street lamp. Dude, what? it's huge! That's, that's, that's not a street lamp. That, that's my star. That's Reptar right there. That's Reptar. Oh, Reptar. Y'all awesome. What, Junior, I can see the pole. It's totally a street lamp. Well, guys, it, it's just overcast, so it's really hard to see right now. So you have to wait for the weather to clear up, and then I'll be able to show it to you. But it, it's a pretty big star. Okay, oh. Junior, the, the guy that sold you this star, what, what did he look like again? Uh, he had a beard, and he was standing by a cardboard box, and... Oh, he had a sign that said, We'll work for food. What, Junior, that was a homeless man. He's not a homeless man. He's selling stars for $20,000. Obviously, he has a lot of money. Junior, you're an idiot. No, you're an idiot because you didn't buy a star with your money. So, Reptar is up there. I, I bought a star. Well, Junior, if you wanted to buy a star, why didn't you just buy the sun? Because planets are more expensive, Cody. You're stupid. <sighs> Junior, you're stupid. You gave $20,000 to a homeless man. No, I didn't. I bought a star and you're just jealous. It's, it's about to rain, so let's go inside. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I bought something good with my money. Man, I wish I didn't get robbed. Well, I bought the coolest thing out of anything. I, I bought a star. It yeah, I just wonder who that $30,000 belonged to. Uh, Santa Claus gave it to us. Duh, Cody. Let's just watch TV. Ugh. 
Uh, hello, we have some very urgent news today. Uh, local heart attack boy, nine-year-old Timmy Jenkins, has suffered his 67th heart attack. And apparently that was just 66 heart attacks too many, because uh, now he is in need of a heart transplant. Um, little Timmy managed to raise $30,000 on his GoFundMe page, but unfortunately, while the money was being delivered, the mailman was hit with a baseball and dropped the money in somebody's yard. I, I, I know, I, I, I didn't believe him either, but uh, if you have that $30,000, please, please, please give it to Timmy. He, he really, really needs it. Uh, I feel so bad. But I look so good, and so do you, Ken. Mm. Well, well, guys, you don't think that's the same thirty thousand dollars that we found, do you? Uh, yeah, Junior, I do. No, I think it's a different thirty thousand dollars. Oh, you know what, Junior? I think you're right. I think that's just another thirty thousand dollars that somebody dropped in a yard because they get hit by a baseball. Well, guys, even if that's the thirty thousand dollars that we found, we can't give it back because we already spent all the money. Mm, yeah, I guess that's true. true. So there's nothing we can do. I feel really bad, but. Wait, that kid needs a heart transplant, right? Yeah. So why don't we just try to find a heart? How are we gonna get a heart, Junior? Wait, we need a heart? Yeah, a heart. Dude, I know where a heart is. I can find a heart. I got one here. Wait, 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 he's got a heart? Yeah, look, see? What? Jonathan, where'd you get a heart at? I got it from a cow. I got hungry, so, you know, I killed a cow so I can make some hamburgers. What? You killed Cody's mom? Damn! What, uh, my, mom, my mom is still alive, Junior. Oh, well, 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 look, we got a cow heart. Look, that'll work, right? Yeah. No, Junior, it doesn't even matter because a cow heart won't work inside a person. Well, then how's it work for your mom? Double down. You know what? Let's just use that heart. Fine, do it. Oh, okay, so look, well, let's just send this heart uh, to the person because uh, we got to send it to the mail because if we bring it in person, they'll know that we're the ones that spent the $30,000. Oh, uh, that's true, yeah. dude. Yeah, I guess that's right. All right, so I'm going to go mail this heart. Uh, okay. Give it to us. All right. Uh, hello, so uh, we have an update on Timmy's situation. Uh, we have just received this cow heart in the mail um, in an envelope. I, I had to pay for the postage, so thank you for that. Uh, it had a note stapled to it that said, uh, We're sorry we took the $30,000, but here is a cow heart for little Timmy. So um, I guess it's the thought that counts, but not really since Timmy died three days ago. Um, and it wouldn't have even mattered anyway, because this is a cow heart. So, whoever took the $30,000, I hope it was worth it. This, this cow heart is useless. Wow, Junior, wow! What? You didn't do same-day shipping? That cost like $100! Well, great, Junior, now Timmy's dead. Well, it says even if the heart would have got there in time, it wouldn't have worked. I already told you that! Well, do, do you still feel bad? Well, yeah, of course I feel bad, but now I can read Timmy's obituary with 2020 vision. Well, I guess the the lesson here is, next time we find money, we should just turn it in. Yeah, next time. Yeah. I robbed you, Joseph. What? Hey guys, it's Logan. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Jeffy. And today we're going to announce the winner of who guessed what was in Jeffy's diaper. See, at the end of the last video, we asked what's in Jeffy's diaper, and I said whoever guessed it right in the comments would get a shout out from Jeffy. So first off, let's see what's inside Jeffy's diaper. Take off my diaper. Okay, let's, let's. Uh, uh oh, oh. It's a turtle. Hey, Major Turtle, what are you doing in my diaper? So whoever commented it was a turtle wins, but it was the first comment that I saw, and the first comment that I saw was from Red Yoshi Show. So he gets a shout out from Jeffy. Jeffy, tell him what, what, what he does on his channel. Yoshi show. Well, what he does is he has a video about pizza. He does puppet videos, and he also has a couple Minecraft videos in there too. Oh wow! So uh, give him, give him a. a uh, 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 hey, Mr. Red Yoshi show, what doing? So anyway, he won the comment. He was able to turtle. So we'll probably do contests like this every few videos. But anyway, that's my question for today: is what would you do if you found thirty thousand dollars? Uh, what would you do with it? Would you, would you go turn into the police? Would you keep it for yourself? What would you do, Jeffy? I would buy a bunch of Cheerios and chocolate cake. Anyway, guys, that was the comment winner. So congratulations to Red Yoshi Show. So you guys are awesome fans. Keep commenting and keep watching. And I love every single one of you guys. Mm -hmm.